Early voting starts today in Connecticut, and there are a few things that you need to know before you head to your polling place for the first time with this I early know. voting. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Olivia Schuler is live at the Capitol Building in Hartford with those details. Olivia, good morning. Caitlin and Tracy, good morning. Well, starting at 10 o'clock this morning, that's when people can get out to vote a part of early voting. Now, this is somewhat of something new that the state is doing, and it's designed to encourage voter turnout. Now, early voting was passed as a law last year. Our team spoke to Gregory Pickett. He volunteers at a local polling site in Rocky Hill every presidential election. Election day can be crowded and busy. He hopes that the state's early voting makes voting easier for people. In fact, turnout is projected to be better with early voting. The president of the Registrars of Voters Association of Connecticut is expecting 70 to 80 percent turnout. To prepare for this, the Registrars of Voters Association of Connecticut is increasing staffing at, at polls. So that uh, we can eliminate um, the, the long lines at the polls and uh, even during early voting, um, there should be no long lines if it makes my life easier when I'm doing check-ins, like I'm all for it. The smaller the line, the better in my mind. Now starting today, you can vote from 10 o'clock this morning until 6 o'clock at night. That all changes on October 29th. Those hours expand, so you can start voting at 8 o'clock in the morning. The ending will be at 8 p.m. at night. And just a heads up, if you are getting out to vote today, to be mindful that your early voting location may be different than where you would typically vote on Election Day. In Hartford, Olivia Schuler, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.